Okay, example three takes us to a problem. It says find the approximate area. First of all, you see the word approximate. That just means that the points of intersection probably will be very pleasant. Okay, um, if you go four decimal places in your integral and then round to a couple decimal places in your final answer, that'll be just fine. Once again, my, my intention here is to figure out the top, the bottom, and the boundaries. And again, the fact they don't say starting here and ending there for x, that just implies that the graphs themselves are going to intersect somewhere. So we're going to be able to find points of intersection. So I'm going to start, I'm going to call this one y sub 1 and this one y sub 2. So I've got x to the fourth minus 2x squared minus x minus 5. Okay, function 2 has stuff over stuff, and uh, there's more than one thing on top, so make sure the top parentheses 4x plus 3, in parentheses. Make sure the top gets entirely encased in parentheses, divided by, now the bottom is just a square root, one square root, right? So if I just uh, divide by the square root, the parentheses in the square root take care of the entire thing being represented as one object. In parentheses. So that put the entire thing on the bottom in parentheses. If I put a parentheses in front of the square root and after, it makes the same thing happen, just there's more square roots to look at. So again, just the square root symbol there, the square root of everything in the parentheses, that's divided by the entire denominator. Once again, I don't know exactly where this, these graphs are going to be, so if I just do a zoom 6 to start off with, if that gives me enough clarity, I'm good to go. If it doesn't, I might have to extend it out a little bit. There's the first one. And there's the second one. And again, clarity is there. I can see very clearly. For the region in question, let me just take this over here. We're trying to find the area enclosed, so we're talking about this space in here. I can see very clearly that the top function is this, the bottom function is that. I can see there's two points of intersection to deal with. My calculator can evaluate those for me. So I want to find these two points. If you want to get closer, you can. Um, it looks like negative 2 and positive maybe 2 point something. So maybe if I go from negative 2 to 3 on the x-axis, it give me a little bit better look. So maybe a, a negative 1.6 and positive 2.1 maybe, I don't know. But again, my calculator can evaluate those down to as many decimal places as I want. So second calc intersect. Again, all I'm doing with the first two enters is picking curves. It doesn't matter where I'm sitting. So first curve is y1, second curve y2. If at this point you haven't figured out top and bottom, you can very clearly see the top is this one, the bottom is that one. And the top is this function here. The guess is important where I'm sitting, so I can either cursor over where I want, I can just guess a negative 1.6 is my guess. And we get negative 1.6386. And then the other point of intersection, second calc 5, hit curve 1, enter, curve 2, enter, and guess. I'm going to guess 2.1. We get 2.0629. And again, that's everything I needed to find from the graph. So at this point, I know the top, I know the bottom, I know the left and the right. So that's everything I need to know to set up an integral. The area is going to equal the integral from negative 1.6386 up to 2.0629 of 4x plus 3 over the square root of 2x squared plus 3x plus 5, minus the second one. I'm going to go ahead and subtract it. So minus that's just going to be minus each thing. So minus x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus x plus 5 dx. To avoid that mistake, I made the last one. All I do is I distribute the minus sign through instead of putting minus in parentheses. Is there anything anybody's looking at right here that makes this problem look maybe a little more challenging than the other problem? That whole thing there, right? This, this term right here is pretty unfriendly, right? Okay. Now, the thing about integrals is this. I can integrate this whole thing a piece at a time, or I can separate it into separate integrals. All right, so I think we can all agree that um, this portion of it is pretty good. So if I went 
negative 1.6386 up to 2.0629 of 4x plus 3 parentheses 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 and negative 1 half dx. I think we can all agree this is the portion we don't like very much, right? This one here looks pretty unfriendly. Notice 4x plus 3 in parentheses. All this I put to the negative half power dx. And then I'm going to do plus integral from negative 1.6386 up to 2.0629 of negative x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus x plus 5 dx. This portion over here is pretty friendly looking, right? Negative x to the fifth over the 5, 2x cubed over 3, x squared over 2, 5x, right? That part's easy. What does this part here look like? This is not as friendly part. Look familiar? Does it look like anything we might have studied recently? Maybe in chapter 5.5? It's a power function, right? Mm -hmm. The derivative of 2x squared plus 3 is 4x plus, or 3x is 4x plus 3, right? This is a u substitution situation here. So I want to do this by use substitution. I want to do this just by basic integration, right? So if we do this, if I let u equal 2x squared plus 3x plus 5, and du, of course, is going to equal 4x plus 3 dx. 4x plus 3 dx is du. That's u to the negative half power. So that's just a basic integral at that point. So this portion of it is going to be the integral of u to the negative 1 half du. And what I want to do is I want to evaluate this integral for this interval based on u, not x, right? So these, these were both x. What I want to do is create u's out of them, right? So if I get my calculator and I type in 2 times parentheses negative 1.6386 in parentheses squared plus 3 times negative... 1.6386 plus 5. That comes out to 5.4542. And if I do 2 times 2.0629 squared plus 3 times 2.0629 plus 5, that comes out to 19.6998. So I've transformed this ugliness into a pretty basic integral, right? It's a power function from here to here. The other integral is um, negative x to the fifth over 5 plus 2x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus 5x. We're going from negative 1.6386 up to 2.0629. If you do have to break them apart like this and do some u substitution and some regular stuff, keep in mind these are still x's, these are still about x, that's now about u, so we have different intervals going on here. This is going to be u to the 1 half over 1 half, so times 2. Just put dot on dot, just all this stuff. Alright, so I've got this plus this basically is what i got going on here. So now I need to evaluate this, right? So they said find the approximate value, so that means I don't have to get exact stuff here. So if I do 2 square root of 19.6998 in parentheses minus 2 square root of 5.4542 in parentheses. Half power is just a square root, right? 2 times each of those. I get 4.2060 for this part. For the other part, I got this expression for these two numbers. Um, it gets kind of ugly to have to type all that stuff into a fifth power to a third power and everything like that. What you can do is this. I can type in 2.0629 store x. All right. All that does is it says anytime I hit the x button, it's going to be 2.0629. The store button's right above on. Hit enter. And now anytime I hit x, 
That's all that is. That's just a store function. Where's if, that button again? It's right above the on key. So you type in whatever number you want, in this case 2.0629, hit the store button. I like to choose X because I don't have to hit the alpha key to do it. But you can store it as any letter. I could have done 2.0629 store. Then if I had alpha, and I, let's say I make it um, T. So now anytime I put it in T, it's also 2.0629. So you can call it anything, but again, the X button, you don't have to hit the alpha key. So X is 2.0629. If you enter X as any number, and then just type in the expression, negative X caret 5 divided by 5 plus 2X caret 3 divided by 3 plus X squared divided by 2 plus 5X, that comes out to 10.8231. Minus, right? Because that's just putting this number into all this. That makes this. And then I got to put this number into all this, right? Okay. Now here's the advantage of doing it this way. If I go negative 1.6386, store x, right? So that's the other x value. Hit enter. And then if I do second enter, second enter, it brings up previous things. I've already got the thing I'll already typed in, hit enter again, and it gives me the other answer. I get negative 7.429 or 10 if I round to four decimal places. All right, so just like that, I've got what this equals, I've got what this equals, and what that equals. So it just a matter of this plus this, and then I'll end up being plus that, right? Because plus plus. So 4.20601. plus. 10.8231 plus 7.4210 comes out to 22.45. Rounding to four decimal places on board to get a, a pretty accurate two decimal place approximation.